glory. John 10, 10, we've been here plenty of times. Is everybody there? Let's read it. The thief does not come to what? Except to what? Steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. So the devil comes, he attempts to steal the will of God that you have been called to battle. Amen. Steal the will of God that you've been called to battle. He comes to kill the purpose of God, which is to destroy Satan's kingdom. And to destroy your destiny, which is to infiltrate the in other words, what the God, the gifted uh, uh, talent, the ability that God has given you to infiltrate the world system, to expose Satan's kingdom. That's your destiny. Amen? Is everybody okay? So Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Steal your call, kill your purpose, and destroy your destiny. Go to Matthew 16. <clears throat> Matthew 16. And verse 21. 1621. Let's read this together, please. From that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Saying, far be it from you, Lord. This shall not happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, what? Satan. Get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of what? Men. Men. The things of men. Then Jesus said to his disciples, after he rebuked Peter in front of everybody, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and pick up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Hallelujah. So again, Satan focuses on keeping man in darkness of the things of God. Everybody hear that? He focuses on keeping man in darkness of the things of God and promote the things of men or the will of self to maintain his offspring control. Do I need to repeat that? Good. Satan focuses on keeping man in darkness of the things of God. And promotes the things of men or the will of self so he can maintain control uh, over his offsprings. Do you know that you were born as an offspring of Satan? Well, you were. We all were. We were born in darkness. That's why you must be born again. <laughs> Amen. Go to Mark 4. Mark chapter 4. In 
from verse 13. Mark 4, 13. And Jesus said to them, do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? Now, Jesus spoke in parables because they are paralyzed. I mean, they're <laughs> paralyzed. Hallelujah. They are parallel. <laughs> they're paralyzing, praise God. Um, they are a parallel between the things of the kingdom of God and the things of, and the physical. So Jesus was speaking in the things of the of the spirit to come give them a picture because they only knew the things of the physical so he's giving them a picture of the things that are physical to express the things of the kingdom of god amen hallelujah and verse 14 the sower sows the word and these are the ones by the wayside where the word is sown when they hear who comes satan comes when Believe me, when this service is over, he will come immediately to you. By the time you leave this place and step off of this property, he will steal everything he can from you. That's why paper, don't forget. Hello. He will steal everything he can. Immediately he comes. Immediately. So whatever the Spirit is trying to impart to you today, believe me, He is going to come immediately and try and steal everything that the Spirit is imparting. And then you'll just go home and go about your business and you'll never reflect this again. If you let Him. When they hear, Satan comes immediately and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. These likewise are the ones sown by stony ground who when they hear the word immediately receive it with gladness. Woohoo! Got it! Yeah! Praise God! <laughs> Verse 17. And they have no root in themselves. And so endure only for a time afterward when tribulation or persecution arises for the word's sake, immediately they what? They stumble or they let it go. Now these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word and the cares of this world. The deceitfulness of riches and a desire for other things entering in choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. <laughs> but these are the ones sown on ground, on good ground. Those who hear the word accept it, accept it. They protect it and bear fruit some threefold, um, 30 fold 60 fold and some 100 fold so the devil keeps his offsprings i mean uh, satan comes i'm sorry satan comes immediately takes away the truth amen see he wears you down until you give it up <laughs> with no fight because there's no fellowship He'll come and wear you down till you just give it up because there's no fellowship. Or he comes and bribes you with the cares of the world for an exchange of truth to keep you. See, you are in darkness. That means blindness to serve truth. People are are in darkness that's what satan's trying to do is to keep you in what darkness so you are blinded to serve the truth so everybody got it hosea 4 6 tells us my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge that's lack of truth you got to remember he's trying to keep his offsprings control under him 
he does he does his best to try to prevent the birthing of the promised seed of believers and so but when the birthing of the promised seed happens he tries to limit revelation to them so they can't attack him properly and they still are in bondage everybody okay one of the things he doesn't want people to know is that Jesus is God <laughs> And that's where they, he brings them under the uh, uh, false belief system. We'll talk about that in a second. Go to John 8. John chapter 8. The will of Satan. Thank God he was in us is greater than he is in the world. Is everybody there? John 8, 37. Jesus was speaking to, uh, I believe it was the Pharisees and Sadducees and boneheads. And in verse 37, he says, I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you seek to kill me because my word is has no place in you. I speak what I've seen with my father, and, do you, and you do what you've seen with your father. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God, Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. You are of your father, the devil. And the desires of your father you want to do. Now you got to understand this. He's speaking to the dudes that are Pharisees and Sadducees. These guys are proclaiming the oracles of God. But they're not living according to the oracles of God. Are you listening? It says he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell you the truth, why do you not believe me? The word believe means follow me. He who is of God Hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear because you are not of God. Come on. He's telling all of these dudes that are dressed according to the oracles of God and all of this stuff. They're carrying around the big scrolls. And he says, you guys ain't of God. This is God telling them they're not of him. <laughs> See, because one of the things Satan didn't want them to know is that Jesus was God. 